One of the most important things to be able to do with your GDC for calculus is find definite integrals and areas, and there's two ways we can do each of those. The first is using a simple calculator page. If you go into the same menu where you access first and second derivatives, you will have an option here for the definite integral. If you choose that, and we're going from pi on 4 up to pi on 2, And there's the function. Okay, make sure you've got brackets around this. There's no way of entering the cos cubed 2x notation. It has to be cos of 2x cubed. And that's dx. There we have it, negative 0.125 or negative 1 8. Note that my GDC is in radians. That's really, really important when you're doing calculus with trig. It has to be in radians. The other thing we need to be able to do is find area. Same thing, areas are found using definite integrals from pi on 4 to pi on 2. But we have one extra step here, we have to take the modulus. And that's because we want any area of the graph that's below the x-axis to be reflected above the x-axis. And the modulus function is found directly above that. You can copy and paste your function in, or retype it. Hit enter, and there's our area. This can be done using a graphing page. So I've already graphed the function. There it is. That's what it looks like. And go menu, analyze graph, integral for the lower bound. We want pi over 4. Hit enter. And see how it's fixed the lower bound to pi on 4. We now want the upper bound. So let's do the same there and type in. pi over 2. And that's exactly what we got on the calculator page, negative 0.125. If we want the area, we would do that the same way, but we choose bounded area. And it's going to ask you for graph and a second graph. The first graph you want to take is your actual function. The second one is the x-axis. And again, it's asking for a lower bound, so we type in pi over 4, hit enter. It asks for an upper bound. We type in pi over 2, hit enter. And there we have it, our positive area, 0.125. If I just very quickly zoom in on that section that we're looking at, you can see that the reason the area is just the positive value of the definite integral is because that region, pi on 4 to pi on 2, is where the function is below the x-axis.